listen, we get it. Making games is expensive. So when you're an indie team working on your first VR game, it's probably a way safer bet to release it episodically. Charge 10, 15, or 20 bucks a chapter and keep the money coming in as you go. But for far too many developers, this strategy simply didn't work. They released episode one, no one bought it, and there was no money to make episode two, which was an all too common story in the early days of the PSVR 1 lifecycle, to the point where a lot of people stopped buying episode ones, knowing that the chances of seeing an episode two were slim to nil. And while you could name plenty of games where an episode two was implied or inferred, either from listening to the developers talk about their plans, or with the story in the first game just ending on a cliffhanger, for this video, let's just stick with games that actually have episode one in the title. And here's all the ones I could dig up. Every episode one that never got an episode two. Let's kick off the festivities by breaking my one and only rule for the video, because Mortal Blitz was never listed on the PlayStation Store as episode one. The only place you could find that wording was in the game itself. That said, for anyone who played Mortal Blitz, this one really hurts. It was a great Time Crisis style cover shooter, but one that was over in about an hour or so. In an interview with Green Man Gaming, the developers gave us the only news about episode two I could ever find, stating that, quote, Currently, Mortal Blitz Episode 1 is released. Episode 2 Mission Pack DLC is planned. Episode 2 is composed of new contents, such as a new theme, new enemy, bigger boss stages, etc. In addition, free costume DLC is scheduled. End quote. But that was years ago, and we haven't heard anything more. Korean developer Skonek Entertainment is still in business, though, and even brought us the free-to-play shooter Mortal Blitz Combat Arena in late 2020. So who knows, there could still be hope for this IP. Of all the games on this list, I'm going to guarantee you that at least 90% of you have never even heard of this one, <laughs> or maybe have just chosen to erase it from your memory. Despite the adorable characters, Ghost in the Toy Box is a soulless wave shooter that lasts all of about 30 or 40 minutes and simply isn't any fun to play. Ghost in the Toy Box would buy Viewpoint Games, the, the same team that brought us VR carts, and two games I've never even heard of, of which I'm fairly certain Cartoon Racers never even came out. So I don't know, maybe letting this series die out on episode one is for the best. I wonder what it was like to take a deep breath without worrying about the next one. Whenever Space Rift Episode 1 goes on sale for 3 or 4 bucks, there's a sudden surge of interest from people wondering if it's worth it. So I'll say this, as a game it's entertaining to fly out in space on different missions. Sometimes you're mining, sometimes you're engaging in combat, but I don't know, it's fine I guess for a super low budget game, and there is a story here that's told through a ton of in-game voiceovers and cutscenes. So while it's been years since I've played through the entire thing, I'm sure an Episode 2 that expanded on the lore would have been at least worth a look. But seeing that developer Bit Composer Interactive hasn't even tweeted since before their PSVR release in 2016, I highly doubt we'll ever see an episode two. The story of Scraper First Strike reminds me of so many other overambitious studios that had big plans for their IP long before they ever got their first game out. Remember Two Human, that game by Silicon Knights that took a decade to come out and was supposed to be a trilogy? Or Advent Rising with their announced trilogy of games, a planned PSP side story, and even a series of five comic books? Well, Scraper First Strike falls pretty much right in line with those projects. A prequel novel was written and published, and even readable, in-game, but the full scope was never realized. Not even close. In an interview with Upload VR, the CEO of Labradex stated that there are five episodes planned for the game in the series. The initial story arc has a total of three games planned, or 15 total episodes. There was a follow-up to Scraper First Strike, a wave shooter that didn't even make it to PSVR called Scraper Gauntlet, but considering the relatively poor reception, that might be the last we ever hear of the series. The HR. Yeah. 
half walking sim and half point and click adventure game, Loading Human Chapter 1 was really a love it or hate it kind of game. I was impressed by the number of items you could interact with, but the super slow story, plotting gameplay, and steep $40 price tag at launch scared away all but the most hardcore of early adopters. The developer Untold Games seemed like they might still be in business, mostly porting games for other studios, and the publisher Maximum Games seem like they're kind of killing it right now with their hands in quite a few new releases. I've reached out for a response, but my bet is that Loading Human simply wasn't profitable, and probably not worth making a sequel to. I've got to say that when you release a game called 18 Floors that only has two floors in it, you're either super confident in your game or clinically insane. And in this case, I'm leading towards insanity. The two puzzle rooms we got at launch were pretty decent and took a while to figure out, but the lack of transparency from the developers regarding how future DLC would be released was troubling to say the least. We had no idea if it would be free, and if it wasn't free, how much it would cost, how frequently new floors would become available, nothing. And just when it seemed like all hope was lost, we got floors 3 and 4 for free. But that was in January of 2019, over three years ago. And while I'd love for this series to continue, even with paid DLC, it seems pretty unlikely at this point. For all the disappointing stories we've told so far, this one is by far the craziest, because with Soul Dimension, we never even got episode 1, just episode 0. We didn't even make it to episode 1, and I think this is the game on the list that bothers me the most. Because sure, it has teleportation and was only 20 or 30 minutes long, but it's a horror game and kind of a pretty one at that. While it's pretty low budget, I always thought Soul Dimension had potential, and I'm not the only one. The developers were planning 6 episodes in total, but I asked about the next game in the series all the way back in 2018, <laughs> and here it is 4 years later, and I'm still waiting for a response. 